<laughs> Breathe, sparks, old boy. Go to your happy place. What in the world was that? <laughs> I have no idea, but uh, I'm going this way, far from it. Which brings us to the moment that Spyro's journey really began. When he and I finally met again for the very first time. The oh, whole. It's a long story. And I thought you were a big one. Goodness. <laughs> you're. You're alive. But it's too late. Too late. T too late for what? Who are you? D do you know me? Where do I come from? W what are you? W what are we? What am I? You mean you don't know? Does it sound like he knows? You're a dragon. When you were just an egg, it was my job to protect you. It was my job to protect all of you. There were others? Others? There were. There were four of us. Guardians, that is. And we had one job. Ensure that all the eggs were hatched. It was the year of the dragon after all. And our very survival depended on those eggs. But the temple and Grotto are now gone. Overrun by... Temple? What temple? Can you take me? Can I see it? Where I came from, I mean? No, no, no. Who knows what forces occupy the temple now? What state it's in? You don't understand. After they came for you... They? Well, who is they, and, and why did they come for me? Because the prophecies spoke of a purple dragon. A dragon born only once every ten generations. You. You? Does that mean him? Oh, wait. This guy, Spyro, some special once in a purple thing? <laughs> I think you might uh, mix that one up. Whoa, that's a little bit of a stretch. I've heard some uh, doozies in my day, but that takes the cake. Spyro, is it? Well, Spyro, I assure you that I'm telling you the truth. The Dark Armies attacked, intent on destroying the eggs and killing the rest of us. And they nearly succeeded. And then they lay siege to the other islands. We were at war. 